This is so crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, um, can't, I think I'm pronouncing this right. All right. So Cannon city, Colorado, the awful smell seeped from a neglected building in a small Colorado town for days. Followed by a report that made police take a closer look at the green funeral operator's storage facility. Oh, gosh. So, they found, when searching for this horrible smell where they had multiple complaints, it was literally, I'm seeing some statements where it could be smell all around this small town, like everywhere, okay? Over 115 bodies. What? Yes. Over 115 bodies. That had all been ended? That had died from... that That had been customers at this funeral home. Okay. So it doesn't give many more statements on this. If I'm making a best guess, okay... I think it probably costs money to bury, incinerate those things of a body, right? So when you have a loved one and you take them to a funeral home and they're supposed to incinerate or they are supposed to bury or do those things, I'm sure that you pay an upfront cost and then that cost, some of that is taken to pay for, um, you know, those things and... If you don't want to pay for those things, maybe this is another option, or so the owner thought. So you're saying these are people who didn't have families to pay for burial cremation? That is not what I'm saying, no. I'm saying the owner wanted to pocket all of that money. Okay, there's no way, because when you get a family member cremated, they give you ashes, or you watch them get buried in the ground. I get it, but this is proof that that's not that that statement you're making is wrong. There's no way because why would they that bury an way. empty casket? I got me. That doesn't make any sense at all. I I'm giving my opinion because it's always money related. Always, there is nothing out there that's not money or related. Or he's like a necrophiliac. I don't know. I don't know, but this is dangerous. This is hazard. This is yeah. toxic. So I, I, I'm not a necrophiliac. So I guess that maybe if you're into that, that you could still be They're into his that. Homies. They're his homies. But like, dude, that is hazardous, toxic, and yeah. like the the team they brought in to manage this is the the law enforcement team that they use for. Airplane crashes, which again are hazardous and toxic with the gases they use and and how barely ever anybody lives through an airline crash. So um, those scenes are just chaos, dude. Bodies everywhere. Um, toxic gas everywhere. Like it, it, And they had to bring in that team to deal with this. Whoa. So they, so were, I don't they were suited think up. I don't think that he had them there for personal use. I think there's something else to it. And there is a statement. It's funny that you said ashes. There is a statement of somebody who used them and was supposed to get ashes and never did. That's why he thinks people are just going to forget about their family members' ashes? 115 bodies. It sounds like that's what was happening. So it, I know you're you're like making questions of how is this possible, but the thing is, it is possible. He didn't get caught because bodies were missing. He got caught because of the smell. The reason I I don't know. I it don't has know. to be only cremation because when it comes to like they literally you go out with the casket and bury it. So I think it couldn't be that because there's no point in burying an empty casket. You just put the body with it. Like yeah, the casket is what costs uh, the massive amount of money is the casket and the burying. So it would have to be cremations where they think, oh, like I can just pocket this money and these people aren't going to like, you know, come after me to get their ashes or anything. I I Why have you no idea. I don't you, know. Like, 
That's just so nasty. It's you such know. a strange situation that I wish I knew more, and there's just not anything out there yet. There was a statement made by police where they came out and said, hey, we just want to let you know what's going on and let you know that we are going to take care of these remains with the utmost respect, care, and concern because they, we know that they are your guys' loved ones, right? Um, and reach out to us if you ever use this funeral home or we will be reaching out to you. But some of these bodies were in full-blown decomposition to the point of not being recognizable, not being able to tell if they're male or female, not being able to get uh, fingerprints, anything like that. So, like, I, there were bodies in decomp and more being brought in. So, this isn't just right, a so situation where stages. someone forgot. They were in all stages. Yeah. Okay. 115 or more. It's Whoa. a weird situation, this is man. This super weird. And no charges have been brought yet. I'm assuming that they're investigating. And yeah. the owner actually said that uh, some people had noticed the smell before, and he said that it's his taxidermy. So he was actively trying to lie. He was I think it has to be money-related. I think it has to be. Something's up regarding... The money. Huh. Why would it cost so much to just run your your furnace thing that you cremate bodies in? I forget. I don't remember what it's called. I mean, because... Just the energy bill? <laughs> no, I think that... Gas bill? Death is uh, exploited in situations. Why does it cost so much for a casket, you know, when it doesn't cost that much to make it? Because death is exploitable. It's one of those things that a body has to be taken care of, like water and food and things like that. Any of those needs that we have as people, um, you know, are, are exploitable. It's capitalism. Yeah, but they Welcome have their America. own cremating thing in Do there, they? Usually, I thought. I don't know. I don't think so. I've never seen one. Oh, I have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, but... Hopefully we'll find whoa. out. I'm curious if you guys know more here. Um, this is just strange. That is such a high number of bodies, and the way that they're being managed, it, it threw me off. It grossed me out. Um, it's disturbing, I'm sure, for the neighbors and people around to know that's what they've been smelling. I Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> but let us know what you guys think. Gross. Yeah, yuck.